is an update and technical analysis blueprint plan of action of the zero days to expiration strategy on spider the largest component to the s p 500 the day trading game plan for tomorrow march 8th 2023 my, in my previous video we we're trading on spot price 404.19 mentioned on the fourth day of march but we had some key function levels to watch out for 402 15 489 uh primary uptrend line needed to be defended uh, especially by short sellers and if taken out uh, would be very bullish for uh, some of the long traders and uh here we are came uh, actually shy from tapping it uh and um i've had some key functioning levels these are uh some of the day trading opportunities where we had uh, early uh yesterday and today this was the first session here we had a uh a gap up in the open right amongst my 405.33 price support uh ended up back testing in it for almost a full uh, 45 minute close to an hour there uh completely uh, uh provided an, uh, an objective long trade entry uh, blasted up amongst this uh, back test of that uh, 406.51 price resistance and went up further for a 5 to 1 risk reward ratio broke down here and uh, i'll zoom in real closely here we will see that uh we need to put in a, a solid daily candle close below a so, uh, five minute close i'm sorry everything on the five minute interval uh, and we actually back tested really to the button here uh, amongst my key resistance 406.51 price resistance providing an objective short trade entry uh, ended up bouncing right at my 405.33 price support uh, came in up back tested it two more times put in a solid five minute candle close below back tested it providing uh, an additional objective short trade entry if not add on to your existing position uh, right at that 405.33 price support back tested it again uh, rejected and uh, came shy to tapping in it once again and uh, we downtrended it hit that uh, 404 11 price support really to the button uh, good for a six to one risk reward ratio bounced off right into the close there uh closed here we ended up opening up today danced on the uh 404 11 price support back tested it two times and uh completely just melted right through uh taking out uh the 55 minute moving average uh sinking right below there uh ended up uh curving right through that 402 uh, 15 price resistance price support uh, back tested right here to the button uh, amongst my key 489 price support uh, back tested it one two three four times providing an objective long trade at entry uh, that was good for a six to one risk reward ratio today back tested it and rejected the 205 minute moving average uh, broke right down below put in a uh, solid five minute five minute candle close below back tested it my 402 15 price resistance really to the button there uh and ended up uh, downtrending breaking back testing that 4089 consolidated briefly here uh looks like we were gonna double tap that uh uh came shy of tapping my 4215 price uh, resistance coinciding with the 55 minute moving average call it a dual line of resistance during the uh, trading session and uh never looked back there uh completely crashed down below uh and that was melted right through some of these resistance they were respected back testing up against it again back tested it again providing an additional objective short trade entry if not add-on uh plenty of reactions all over the place here and uh ended up uh, hitting my 397.69 price support really to the button there uh providing an additional objective long trade entry the entire trade to the downside was good for 1.1 percent of a drop on the day uh and then uh took off here ended up uh darn near hitting my 399 through 35 prices of resistance uh ended up running right into the 55 minute moving average that was good for a three to one almost call it a four to one risk reward ratio so plenty of day trading action and uh, plenty of opportunity there amongst these key levels. And I'll bring us to the new chart here, new key levels to watch. I really like uh, this inflection point here, which was the uh, uh, really the neckline to the inverse inverse head and shoulder bottom that we uh, previously had and broke out of where uh, that initial uh, short squeeze took place there. But um, I really, you really want to see long traders and or dip buyers uh, completely hold that key level two, three, six fifths retracement at all costs, coinciding with the uh, uh, primary downtrend line off that neckline of the inverse head and shoulder. Uh, and if that's tested them all uh, and taken out, that's what bull traders, uh, short sellers want to see. Probably a strength in selling uh, if taken out, in my opinion, on a complete backfill of the gap, uh, right back down to 393.09 gap support. Uh, darn near close to that. Uh, uh, I think so. we'll zoom in here. Take some of this out. And uh, yeah, those those will be some big key levels to big key levels to watch here. Uh, as far as uh, bull traders, dip buyers, again, they want to they want to defend. Uh, there's 397.69 price support right here uh really to the button here if they can uh i've added uh, i've adjusted some of these key functioning levels uh brand new key levels um, but they want to yeah 397.69 uh 397.05 and then that 236 fibs retracement so right along this uh key 396.14 uh price support big key level to watch there 
uh, and I would only suspect a pretty strong wave of selling if taken out. Uh, as far as the uh, dip buyers, bull traders, they want to defend some of these key levels, start to trend to the upside tomorrow. If not, if they uh, end up coming down to the 236 fibs, coincide with the primary down trend line neckline, they need to defend this at all costs here.